This is the Sega Mega Drive 32X. Uh, if you lived in Japan, then it's called the Super 32X, or in America, the Genesis 32X. I saw this thing and went, oh my god, the power! Such games as Star Wars Arcade made me look at this and go, oh my god, I want one. The Sega Saturn and the Sony PlayStation were miles away, so I got one of these. Mainly because the other console I could have got was the Atari Jaguar, and that was pants. It said 64-bit, but there was no way it was. It was 64-bit, my ass. Anyway, let's look at the 32X games. Hello, I'm Fred Couples. Welcome to Golf Magazine's 36 Great Holes. Oh, great. 36 Great Holes. I'm sure that's going to be absolutely fun, isn't it? Anyway, so let's look at this game. Just to give you a quick introduction to the video, we're going to be looking at every single 32X game in existence. Um, going to cover all of them. This is going to be part one of the video. There's going to be more parts after this. Hopefully, you're going to enjoy it. Mm, well, hopefully, you'll at least endure at least two episodes of it. That's the best I can hope for. Anyway, let's look at 36 holes starring Fred Couples. So it's a golf game. He's hitting a ball. It's not bad, I suppose. You know, it's, I mean, you had PGA Tour Golf by this point on the Mega Drive. You had, you know, PGA Tour 96, if I'm getting the dates right. And, um, really, why why would you want this? I mean, it's not a massive improvement. Considering it's supposed to be 32X, you know, it's supposed to be 32-bit. It's not. It's about as 32-bit as the Jaguar was 64-bit. But, <clears throat> you know, it looks okay, but the only thing about 32-bit is probably his animation, that's about it. You know, here I am putting. Let's uh, try and putt this shot in. Okay, we're getting close. Okay, this shot, this shot, I'm going to get this in. I've only got to tap, tap the ball, in it goes. Fuck! Okay. Okay, we'll get it in this one, and after this we'll play Afterburner, which will be the next game. Yeah, fucking Afterburner, that's what I'm talking about. Not exactly pushing the 32X to its limits, but at least it's better than Fred Couple's fucking bullshit golf. He's going to fly off some shoot some arseholes. Not shoot in someone's arseholes, that would be all someone's arsehole, that's something totally different. Anyway, let's shoot some planes, damn it. But yeah, this all looks pretty good, you know, it's much better than the Mega Drive version. But I suppose it fucking well should be, considering how the game was by this point. I'm dead. Okay, let's take off again, let's, let's try that, let's try that shit again. To be honest, I don't really know why I was so bad. I think it's because I just wasn't, you know, I haven't played this in so long. It's, uh, it's actually not easy to, um, you know, shoot the shit out of people. All you've got to do is align the crosshair over the people. As they're going past you, you can shoot them. If they're already far away in the distance, it puts that, that big crosshair and then you shoot the missiles. It's, it's pretty straightforward, really. It's afterburner. Anyway, um, yeah. It looks pretty good. It's pretty, still a pretty fun game. Afterburner. That's nah, not a bad game on 32X. What have we got next? Oh, PC devices. Here we go. Fucking BC racers. It was Core's attempt at doing what the Super Nintendo had already done about three times with games like Super Mario Kart and, you know, that other one. I can't remember its name. The F-Zero, that's it, F-Zero. And it basically featured characters from the Chuck Rock series of games in really a terrible terrible race. It was also on the Mega CD. The Mega CD one wasn't actually quite as good as this. Um, I can't even bother to show a little screenshot caption of it. But what it definitely wasn't as good as was uh, Super Mario Kart. It was just, this game was plagued with absolute bugs. Plagued with just really, really piss poor. Like this. Like you, I've got this walls that I'm trying to get through and so I'm back on the other side of the track and there's oh there's signs in the most infuriating places. Oh it was just a mess. It, oh it's just an absolute mess of a game. Not fun at all. Poor controls, just just poor. 
you know what, I just can't even be bothered to play that much more. I'm going to finish this final lap just for the sake of it and have done with it. But yeah, poor, poor game. Okay, here we go. Blizzard. They made World of Warcraft, so this game's got me awesome. They also made Rockman Racing. That game was wicked as well. So Blackthorn on the 32X. Here we go. Right, this is a sort of platformy flashback. Um, another world sort of game. Got this sort of bullshit intro screen. But it's, it's just f fuck all that off. Bore off. Bore off. Well, here you go. I'm a dude. I've got a gun. The animation looks pretty good. I'm down a hole now. So uh, let's get back up. There's a skull. Okay, I've sort of can't. Okay, I can't move when I've got my gun out. Okay, fair enough. Let's go up these ladders. Some dudes! They're chained up. Okay, they don't really kill me, but. Uh, that fires backwards. It still fires Oh, that fires forwards. He's dead. And he's dead as well. Okay. Was I meant to kill them? I'm not really sure if I was. Okay, let's, let's go up here. Let's try not to kill this dude. Try not to kill him. The button's a bit funny here, but... Okay, collect that. Let's hover bomb. Okay, and I can roll around and shit. That's pretty cool. There's another hover bomb. Um, um. Um. Fucking share the gaze with it, ain't it? Fuck you! Fuck you! He didn't drop anything. Not even his head is a quest. Okay. So I'm sort of stuck here. Um. What the fuck was that button? What button did I just press for that? I think it was C or something. <coughs> Who's that dude in that one? <coughs> Let's go back in there. Okay, I can't shoot him. He's just laughing at me. He's a prick, isn't he? Yeah, fuck you, prick. Fuck you. Oh, just roll down the little into the pit. Back up we go. Hang on. What's that shit? Take it. Old bomb. Ah, uh, that must be what I used to block the door. Right. Got a chart. So hold around a bit. Um what was the button? Oh that was it, yep. Yep, that was a hover bomb. That so that blows up the doors. Let's take another one of the shizzle. Blow that shit up. And uh what's this dude want? Okay, is he is he alright? Yeah he's alright, he's not gonna do nothing. Free at last! Take this potion, brother! Thank you, friend. You didn't... Did you do anything else? Nah, fucking shoot me. Yes! Kick's ass. Okay, let's, uh, let's go up here. Um, well this doesn't seem so bad, I suppose. This is alright. It's sort of like Prince of Persia, in a way, but with guns. I suppose he's pretty good. You know, that's that's alright. Um, let's shoot these guys up. But you can't shoot them when they go dark. Oh, fuck you! Let's take his stuff. Another horror bomb. Boom! Oh, ah. Oh. How come I didn't get hurt by the last door that I blew up with the horror bomb? I'm sure I didn't. Shoot you. Fuck you! No! Yes! Meh! No! See, get that shit. You know what? Fuck this guy. Oh, fuck this guy. Okay, this is the real low point of the entire, entire 32X library. It's the low point of any library, but this is. Brutal Unleashed, the sequel to Brutal Pools of Fury. It was an awful, awful game. I mean, to be honest, it's unbelievable. I'm just even going to try and put my name in. Right, Dodgy Kebab, here we go. It's the controls are just f all over the place. I'm trying to press down and it's, it's going down two places instead of one. 
just putting my name in is a chore and that does not bode well for the rest of the game really does it when you can't even put in a simple you know you can't put your name in that's awful kebab yes I know it's spelt wrong I don't need anyone to tell me that B A A B B B B, I can't fit it in. Bullshit. Okay. Just play the game. Let's choose a, let's just choose this son of a bitch right here. <clears throat> oh, whatever. Yeah, just play the fucking game. Here we are, with some rabbit dude against some fucking wolf fox dude and fucking whatever shit. It's just just a shit game. It's just shit. Considering, you know, Street Fighter was already out and this game came out in 1996. You know, what, what possessed them to do this? What possessed them? You know, you had Street Fighter, which was miles better already on the Mega Drive, and they brought out this crap. Oh, anyway, yeah, Boo Unleashed. What a pile of dog. Okay, here we go, the last game of this particular part. It's Cosmic Carnage for the 32X. Well, it's better than Brutal Brawls of Fury. The graphics are better, it's nicer controls, it's a lot more fluid. Still not the best fighting game ever, considering what else was out at the time. Well, Street Fighter. It was better than Mortal Kombat, let's say that. Mortal Kombat was overrated, in my opinion, anyway. You can customise your character, you can put all sorts of different armour on to slow you down, speed you up, you know, increase your stats, whatever. Make you look different, bigger shoulder pads, more 80s theme, whichever you prefer. Oh, fuck, we're fighting Naruto. I'm Zena Lan and we are fighting Naruto. Right. Um So I'm gonna kick his eyes, his chest plate's gone there, he's got a sort of black head thing. A black head thing. Well, maybe either this game saw the future or they it's just written by the second. Uh, it's, no, it's just some it's still a fucking idea factory theft bullshit, they probably saw some sort of blueprints from the route and just stole it all. Anyway, we're coming to the end of this video now, I hope you've sort of enjoyed it, endured it, survived it, maybe prepared to watch another part. Anyway, this is the first part of the 32X catalogue and join me for part 2, I've been Logic Bab slash Triple 7, goodbye.